Okay, so here I'm in the cattle shed, and you might remember uh, was it a few weeks ago I had talked to you about the um, the ringworm that the cattle had, and I cut some holly just behind me. So cut some holly to put up. In fact, here I am cutting a bit of the holly down. So that was a few weeks ago. I put it up there. It's sort of dried up now, but we're going to have a look and see how the cattle have done. So here they are. Now. I can't honestly say they've got any worse, but I'm not sure whether I'd like to say they've got much better. Um, you can still see that, that one there. Let's have a look round. I have to stop then because I had a real dust problem on the lens. You can probably see that every now and then when I go in the sunshine, the, the dust on the lens. Let's have a look. So yeah, so this one here, still got the ringworm. If I'd say anything, maybe there's a slight improvement on some of them, but I think that could just be the uh, natural recovery. Um, here we are, there's another one with it. They're looking a bit scrawny and, and mucky out here, but they're going to be going out and soon. Um, but uh, the ringworm is certainly not getting any worse, and I expect it all to clear up. I'm not convinced that the um, holly was the uh, cure that everyone thought it would be, though. But uh, there we go. Right, that's the young cattle with ringworm. Just a quick update.